Greetings out there in YouTube land. Boy, it sure is hard to get likes, I see. Okay. But then I also have to remember that Jesus is walking around and he had a great message. He really did. But he didn't get too many likes on it either. He had some, but not as many as would have been nice, you know. But that's the way it goes, eh? I'm not one of those cotton candy abundant places. I'm not going to preach lies and tell you stories that ain't true. It's not going to happen. God is real. Yep. So you need to give Jesus a call. I can speak with authority on this because I was healed by Jesus March 12th, 138 in the morning. Yep. This year. Not that long ago. And I tell you, when Jesus talks to you, 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 you notice these things. Those moments stick out in your life. They truly do when you're touched by God. Wow. He also fixed uh, my many concussions. I thought I had around 33, 34 of them. Okay. And now I can remember stuff from my youth. And if you'd asked me before the March 12th, if I'd eaten the day before that, I, and what I ate, I couldn't remember. Okay. And it's really interesting. When you turn around and you tell people that you were healed by Jesus, right? And some of these people know that you were wearing a lot of people the nitro patch, it's a day to live, yet they don't want to believe that you were healed by God. How else can it happen? You can't wear that much nitro and then suddenly stop. Okay. Oh, no, 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 it's got to be something else. And, oh, it's got to be the doctors. But I don't go to doctors. I stopped going to them. What was the point when they said there's nothing they could do for me and I was going to die? Right? I saw no point going to them. Okay. They need to give God the glory for these things. God is healing people every day all over the planet. They got groups of people out there laying hands. And Jesus said, do as I do. Have you gone out and laid hands today? Have you gone out and ministered the word of the Lord? These are the latter days. And we are to persevere to the end and put on the armor. You're supposed to go out there. Don't bury your bag of gold. What have you done today for the Lord? Have you talked with the Lord? Think about it. What will you say when you stand in front of the Lord and he asks you what you've done with your bag of gold? Okay. You may not get many likes on the things you have to say, but speak the truth, for it will set you free. For the Holy Spirit is there, and it will tell you what to say. It will help you when the time comes. Be prepared. That third temple is going up soon. And it's not, don't think about what you're going to say, but the Holy Spirit do the talking. That's why you're there in the first place. And everyone will understand. Because they'll be speaking in true tongues, where everybody will understand what you're saying all over the world. Not some mumbo-jumbo, but the real deal. Like they did on Pentecost. What have you done for the Lord today? Think about it. And give him a call. Bye-bye.